Hello and welcome back to this financial podcast. It is February 9th, 2022, and I want to talk about what's going on in the news, and that is Facebook. The past few days, it's down around 35%. They're saying how terrible it is, especially in the financial mainstream media, how their user growth is shrinking, they're changing their name, their investment in the metaverse around 10 years down the road, and they don't know how that's going to pan out. The investment is losing money. Oh, get out, sell, it's terrible. Meanwhile, on the other side of their mouth, they're whispering to their broker, hey, it's working. Go get some more Facebook shares. (laughs) And this is really goofy as far as what the competition is. Why are they losing user growth? Oh, it's TikTok. (laughs) TikTok. TikTok. (laughs) <laughs> TikTok is basically some silly app with a bunch of goofy dancing teenagers. I mean, there's no competition for Facebook. And Snapchat, what is that? What is Snapchat anyway? It's really hard to define if you search it. It's some sort of a video and photo sharing thing where you take pictures of yourself and send it. I mean, this stuff is for a bunch of teeny boppers. You know, this is not business. This is entertainment. TikTok and Snapchat and these other social media apps is for fun and games, for teeny boppers, for teenagers living in their mommy's basement, and Facebook, on the other hand, is for business. It's for serious business. So their claim is, well, they're not getting younger users. Well, I want to make a point here. Young people don't stay young forever. They get old, and then when they get old, they do old people things, like start a business. They invest in that business. They promote that business. Where do you do that? On a rock-solid network like Facebook. Millions and millions of businesses rely on the Facebook platform to promote their business so the business can even be found, that people can find and buy their products and services, right? And if you look at the numbers, I mean, it was a quarter miss, not a year-over-year miss. I mean, basically, their numbers are terrific. They hit it out of the park longer term. A quarter is just three months. I mean, let's look at these numbers. I mean, they're incredible. I mean, you have a company that right now is $631 billion in market cap, right? Now, this is a mega gigantic company. It's very big. But yet, at the same time, investors expect a growth company. Growth companies are generally not this big. They're much smaller. And keep in mind, this is a business with zero debt. Imagine a company that's $631 billion in market cap and has zero debt. I mean, that's unheard of. I've never heard of anything like that. They may have made history. I mean, even Apple has debt. So if they're investing in this metaverse and it's losing money, well, keep in mind, growth companies use stock, they use debt, they sell bonds to fund growth. Facebook is using money that they already have and lots of it. They have $47 billion in cash. So keep in mind, this is an important point. Right now, inflation is around 7%. It's very high. It hasn't been this high in a very long time. Now, if they're just sitting on this cash, this cash is going to lose value. So what are they doing? They're reinvesting it in the business. They're not paying dividends. Maybe they should. That's something to think about. But the fact is they're not. Most growth companies are not, even though they're gigantic, they're still considered a growth company. So they're taking that money and investing it. They're reinvesting it in the business. So they're investing in this metaverse thing. Now, will this thing take off? I don't know if it will. But keep in mind, a lot of people are zeroing on Facebook. They even changed their name based on it. But a lot of other companies are investing in this metaverse thing. Microsoft is. They're investing money. NVIDIA is. They're investing money. These two companies have done fantastic but they're also vulnerable. It's not just Facebook. And if it doesn't work out, like I said, they're using money that they have. This money is not being paid out to shareholders. This is not a debt financed investment. It's $47 billion in cash that they have and they're just using a portion of that to invest in this metaverse thing. Keep in mind also that Facebook is not just Facebook. They have Instagram, they're growing users. WhatsApp is growing users. Facebook owns these companies. Now, people are criticizing the company for changing their name. Well, they have other parts of their business that are growing that are not Facebook. Maybe a name change was on the cards. But people are saying not to this. Well, who knows? What's the difference anyway? Look at when Facebook came out. Look at the name Facebook. I mean, 
what's a Facebook face in a book? At the time, it may have sounded unusual, but now it's a household name. So Meta might be a household name in the future. What's in a name anyway? The business is still here. The core business is intact and doing quite well. And I'm going to go through some of the numbers right now. Double digit growth. They have 3 billion users. Like I said, businesses rely on the platform for their livelihood. I mean, millions of businesses use this. There's a network effect. And I want to add to that network effect. Look at Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin does not have a lot of utility use. Yes, some countries are adopting it now, however small countries, but it's very small as a payment system. But the network is huge. Network effect is very important even though the underlying business isn't strong and Facebook has a very strong underlying business. So the network effect is important. Facebook has a very strong network effect and that's what businesses want. Crowds follow crowds. They're going to stick with it. Earnings per share, down 5% for the quarter, right? users grew 5%. So that fell from the previous quarter. So this is what hit the stock. But look a year from the prior year growth. 37%. Again, a $631 billion market cap company that grew by 37%. I mean, that is staggering growth. That's very, very big for such a large company. And then income, 35% net income from the prior year. That's huge. <laughs> And here, look at this number. This is a staggering number. This is like hit it out of the park number. Over 65% in positive cash flow for a company this size. How many companies can claim this kind of growth? This is fantastic. So these are very, very big numbers. And it's all because of the quarter that you have such a down move like this. For one quarter, one quarter that didn't need estimates. And that warrants around a 35% down move in just a few days. So what I'm trying to say here, at this price right now, this is a no-brainer. I mean, it's a great investment. If you already have shares, stick with it, don't sell. This can make money on a long-term, intermediate, and even short-term basis. You can put some money into the stock now, and it's almost guaranteed it's gonna go up. Now, of course, as you know, with the stock market, if the overall market goes down, obviously everything's gonna go down. So everything goes down with that ship, with that overall market ship. But as we know, in the long term, markets generally go up and up and up. And this stock is very undervalued right now. When you have numbers like this, a company that has the size of a defensive type of company, but yet at the same time still puts up huge numbers like this, double-digit growth. They really don't have any competition. They also own Instagram and WhatsApp. So the fact that they changed their name is that they have a family of businesses under that name. I mean, it's like other huge companies. Look at Procter & Gamble. I mean, they make a lot of unrelated products. They make razor blades and they make cereal. I mean, these two things are not related to each other, right? So if you think about it, it's just a very big company with a lot of products and services that they sell. I don't think these other businesses are competition. Like I said, TikTok and Snapchat, I mean, this is fun and games. This is entertainment. You know, teeny boppers and teenagers don't own businesses. They don't promote their businesses. They spend money on advertising. I mean, they're just looking to have fun. And what's going to happen with these apps when these teenagers get older, they're going to go off these apps. And they're going to have to open a business, start a business, invest in that business, promote that business. And Facebook is the place where they're going to promote the business. Now, there's some ethical questions about Facebook, and there's talk about censorship, but you know something? There's other tech companies doing the same thing. When it comes to investing and making money for yourself and your family, you have to decide what to invest in. You have to put aside all that other stuff. You have to figure out what the company's doing. You have to look at their financials, their balance sheet, and what they offer. And Facebook has a phenomenal balance sheet, absolutely phenomenal. I mean, this is a huge investing opportunity. I think this company is going to go up from here. Now, can the company still go down more from here? Sure it can. But even in the short term, intermediate term, there's going to be some gain right here. I mean, as an intermediate term, short term investor, you could look at at least another 20, 25% gain to take here because this is like a nearly risk-free trade. This is a rock solid business that is here to stay. So I would like to know what you think. What do you think about Facebook? What do you think about social media in general and the competition involved? Please leave your comments. Please subscribe. Please like up this video. And thank you for tuning in.